What's up, geeks? Welcome to the second episode of Best Geek Vlog Ever, the weekly web show that proves it's okay to be a geek. I'm your host, Brendan Toda, and to my right is... Ezekiel Gutierrez. The first segment on today's show is one we like to call Knee Jerk, in which one of us gives our uncensored, honest, but brief response to today's geeky topic. Today's topic is the 2013 summer movie season. Brendan's in the hot seat this time, so I'll be rattling off all the summer movie titles. He's going to let you know what he thinks about it. You ready, sir? I think so. The Hangover 3. Didn't see part two. <laughs> the Lone Ranger. Really excited to see Jack Sparrow in the Wild West. Pacific Rim. Sounds like a sex act. Oh. <laughs> hey, yeah, man. Uh, I hooked up with that girl last night. She gave me a Pacific Rim. <laughs> oh, boy. Star Trek Into Darkness. One of my two most anticipated films of this summer movie season. Kick-Ass 2. Hope it's just as kick-ass as part one, because I only have so much ass. Elysium. I'm having trouble just saying the name of this movie. Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, part two. Makes me a little bit hungry, <laughs> part two. Iron Man 3. My other most anticipated film of 2013. Wolverine. Can't he just be part of the Avengers already? Man of Steel. Box office gold. Steel, hopefully. gold, I like that. Steel, gold, hopefully that may... Actually, That's not what you did there. I Fast and Furious 6! Didn't this movie used to be about cars? Monsters University. I have no interest in seeing Mike and Sully as kids. Smurfs 2. I unfortunately saw Smurfs 1. <laughs> I don't even want to know why. Speaking of summer movies, bestgeekblogever.com is hosting, yet again, our third annual summer movie wager. Tell me more about the summer movie wager, Easy. I will, Brendan. We get a bunch of people together. They send in a list of 10 movies they think will make the most money from number one to number 10. So every week we're looking to see how much money those movies are pulling in. The summer movie season starts on May 3rd with the release of Iron Man 3 and goes all the way to the end of September. All the money made up in that time is what's counted. So whoever gets the most correct gets the most points and wins. To be a part of the official summer movie wager, the buy-in fee is $5. So last year we had 10 people play, so the winner took home 50 bucks. This year, we're adding a weekly box office challenge to people who are in the wager officially and people who aren't. On our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash best geek blog ever, on Thursdays before the weekend, put which movie you think will be number one and how much money you think it will make. And we're going to price is right that. So on Monday, we're going to check who won. And the person who got the closest to the actual box office numbers without going over wins an Amazon movie rental courtesy of bestgeekblogever.com. That's right. Even if you're not in the challenge, you can win every single week. Someone will win a movie rental. I think that's pretty good. We're looking for your participation this year in the summer movie pool. Even if you can't make it in by May 3rd for the official contest, please participate in the Facebook weekly contest. For all the rules and details, click the link in the description down below. Please remember that lists are due by May 3rd. Money is due by May 6th, that following Monday. So now it's time for a segment we call Countdown, where we count down... Something. Exactly. This week's edition of Countdown features our top three picks for this year's summer box office performance. I think it would be foolish to bet against anything Marvel's doing at this point. <laughs> Iron Man 3 is sort of a direct sequel to what happened in the Avengers. Do you think one of his extent. suits is like the money printing suit? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It prints it out of his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> with it being the first movie of the summer mm -hmm. and it having the longest time to to make that money, mm -hmm. uh, I think it would be foolish to not put Iron Man three in number one. I think mm -hmm. I think that's probably what I'll end up going. In my number two spot is a number two movie. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about Star Trek Into mm -hmm. Darkness completely yet. I've seen all the trailers. I've had time to soak it in, but I'm still not quite sure if I like the vibe of it um, completely. I think, again, it would be dumb to bet against Star Trek Into Darkness at mm -hmm. this point, so I think it's got to be two on the list. Okay. Number three is the one that I hope I'm sort of wrong. I hope number three, uh, in my opinion, the movie third on my list has the most potential because it's not a prequel, it's not a sequel. Um, it's a new reimagining of Superman, 
And so I think Man of Steel's got to be my number three, uh, and I sort of hope it does better than that because uh, the newest, the last trailer, which just came out, is amazing. You believe your son is safe? I will find him! My father believed if the world found out who I really was, they'd reject me. He was convinced that the world wasn't ready. It is truly an incredible trailer. That I was eating food when it came on. We and were eating food. We were eating and food and literally stopped what we were doing <laughs> to watch the trailer. Mm -hmm. uh, it was breathtaking. I, I would like to see Man of Steel not be number three and maybe crack the one or two spot. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I think, I'm not a huge Superman fan, but this Man of Steel movie looks like it could be incredible. So my top three is going to look very similar to yours, but with one slight modification. I would love for Man of Steel to be in the top three realistically. I don't think he's going to make it. I think it'll do well. I think it'll be a great start if they continue down that path and create a series of movies, which everybody really wants, it seems that way. Realistically, it's probably going to hit four or five. I don't think other movies like Kick-Ass 2 are going to oust it. Pacific Rim, I don't think, is going to do better mm -hmm. than that. Uh, I think Pacific Rim is probably going to be in the top 10 somewhere in there, but it's not going to uh, oust Man of Steel. But honestly, my list is going to go Iron Man 3, because like you said, it would be foolish to bet against yeah. uh, anything Marvel's doing at this point. And quite frankly, I bet against the Avengers last year, and <laughs> we saw how that turned out. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Crap! My heart wants to give number two to Star Trek. I think realistically it's probably going to hit number three. And I think number two is I'm going to give it to the Lone Ranger. Mostly because it's Johnny Depp. It's Disney. It's got the whole powerhouse of everything behind that. So I'm going to give that uh, silver spot over to the Lone Ranger. You've got the family friendly aspect to that film. Mm -hmm. I mean, all the trailers, there it's much lighter in tone mm -hmm. than... Than a, than a Man of Steel, or, or even a Star Trek for that matter. And I'm going with Man of Steel because I'm thinking of it pragmatically from a sense of how did Batman Begins do? That's true. But with an extra bonus because Zack Snyder and Christopher Nolan are proven already. Mm -hmm. And I think people will go into that knowing that. But I think that's a wise choice with Lone Ranger because Johnny Depp sells movie tickets. Mm -hmm. He could be playing this character all the time. He could be in space with it. He could be under the ocean with Jack it. Jack Sparrow in space. It It's going to sell movie tickets mm -hmm. uh, because, uh, in my opinion, because of the Pirates films. Mm -hmm. And this this movie and the character he's playing in this sort of has that sort of kookiness, I think, that, that Jack Sparrow brought to the Pirates. So I, I think it's a wise choice. I would love to be wrong in this instance. I want Man of Steel to do amazing. I want DC to go, hey, we can hang in there with them. We just have to do something smart like this yeah. all the time. So please, DC, please do well. Thanks again for joining us for another episode of Best Geek Blog Ever. To keep up to date with all the latest episodes, hit the subscribe button right here. New episodes will be uploaded every Monday. If you have a topic for future episodes of Best Geek Vlog Ever, leave it in the comments section down below, or hit us up at our Twitter, at Epic Happens Here. For Best Geek Vlog Ever, I'm your host, Brendan Tona. This is Ezekiel Gutierrez. And we'll see you next week.